Hello and welcome back to Thirty Days of Coom with me, Rishi. Today is day twenty-one. Yay! Three weeks done. Um, only nine days left. Almost there. Um, yeah. So, last we left off, I made all of the variables, um, and we we've loaded all of our responses from this question array into this questions here, into this question array here. Um, our CSS, still, our CSS still needs a little bit of work, but that's an on your own thing which you can do. And you can type your code in the Discord, um, show it off, have fun with it. Um, yeah, the Discord link will be available in the description below, as well as the YouTube channel link to mine. Uh, please consider subscribing, hit that like button so people know to watch this. And let's get into it. Uh, that was the first salad I've done on this channel, which is fine. Uh, let's get started though. So, in entry number, I'm gonna put dot inner HTML. And in inner HTML lets you type in like essentially this portion over here. This is the inner HTML. Um, yeah, so I wanna type inside of this location right here. This right here is my single space, but I'm gonna change that so that way it's instead of whatever it is right now, I'm gonna change it to index plus one. Then I'm going to say entry number or not entry number. Then I'm gonna say subject dot. Um, subject dot inner HTML equals to question array index and actually to make this a little bit easier on myself I'm going to do console dot log sub uh, question array so I can see where everything is. Let's just do this first of all. Um, and I'm just gonna call on load selected. So I have object, object, and I have one, which looks fine. Um, yeah. So let's reload this page and let's no, wrong one. This needs to be Coom Overflow. I print out this, which is what in each, in my first one, I have something called data where everything is stored. And then this is where I have everything stored at. So let's just do that. Let's do, let me just drag this here. Let's just do in this first index, I want to look for data. So dot data dot subject. This is what I called it. Then username dot inner HTML question array index dot data dot user name. Yeah, so so far so good. Lastly in this question was a little, a little bit longer, so let's just start with putting a two small variables. We need to put a question text equals to question array index dot data dot question and a var um, code text equals to XMD actually, so first I'm going to put XMD tag plus question array index dot data dot code um, plus in this again XMD. XMD is actually a really weird tag. It's not very popular. Uh, not by not very, I mean like 
maybe a few few people use it. There's not a lot of people who use it at at all. So like there's like ten people maybe um, in a city. So global population, I would say maybe a thousand people use the tag. Maybe ten times that many know of the tag. Uh, probably not. Probably my skill is very down. But like maybe I don't know. Maybe at least. Let's just take population of California. It's like, I don't even know. Population of California. Out of 40 million, I'm going to say that maybe 10 million know this tag. Or have heard of it. And only about a million actually use it. Um, my skills might be too high, might be too low. Uh, but this XMD tag... XMD, yeah, you see, you can't even find it online. It's that small. Um, is it XMD even? I have to check if it's XMD or if it's something else. Let's just... Uh, stack Overflow. Yes, sir. Inspect... Sources, command P, script.js, it is XMP, sorry, XMP tag, see, it's really weird, XMP tag, here it is, um, what was, see, and this is in 2012, uh, this stack will put a quest, it's, de it's deprecated right now, um, it was to, like, create plain text in HTML, whatnot. Um, yeah, they said use the pre-tag, but the pre-tag doesn't work in this case for some reason, or just on some browsers it doesn't work. It's marked as obsolete, um, in 1995, actually, so this is a tag that hasn't been used in a while. Um, if, if you can find something on it, I'd recommend... I mean, I'd, I'd say go 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 find it, but that would be kind of wasting your time. So, no point in trying to find it right now. Um, and actually, this is not code. This needs to be sample code. And then I can say question dot inner HTML is equal to question text plus break or plus new line plus code text and you can see that this posts exactly what I wanted to post um, my hello h1 and then the h2 I am a developer um, and these two buttons don't do anything yet but this is fine let's let's end here um, in day 22 I'll teach you how to move through these options and yeah Thank you.